One line of improvement will be to acknowledge political decision making by our Supreme Court. An often glossed over subject, but one at the very center of the country's democracy. Former President John Mahama criticized the independence of the third arm of government, the judiciary, as it is increasingly scrutinized for its role in preserving law and order. The NDC flag bearer described the apex court as packed with justices affiliated with the ruling party, highlighting the ongoing scrutiny of the judiciary's role in the country's democracy. We must be prepared as NDC uh, legal persons to also uh, go on to the bench so that we can balance out, you know, uh, the judiciary. Currently, the judiciary is packed with NPP um, um, inclined uh, judges. President Akufo expressed his revulsion for the controversial comment made by the former president focusing on his integrity. Not only are these concepts of, quote, NPP and, quote, NDC judges new in our public discourse, they are also extremely dangerous and represent the most brazen attack on the independence of the judiciary by an allegedly responsible politician of the Fourth Republic. They provide another reason, if more were needed, why right-thinking citizens should ensure the defeat in 2024 of the man whom the first special prosecutor identified as government official number one in the still unresolved airport airbus bribery scandal. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice Godfrey Dami supported the position that appointments are not solely the president's prerogative. Each appointment onto the judiciary is preceded first by an indication of a vacancy by the Judicial Council. Without a vacancy, the president cannot appoint. Thus, the notion that the president can just appoint any member, any number of judges that he desires in order to neutralize, in quotes, the perceived declaration of the judiciary is incorrect and misleading. President of the Ghana Bar Association, following Mahama's comments, stated that the practice of denigrating the bar and court will not be tolerated. Just so we are all clear, let me state unequivocally that the GBA under my administration is not an appendage of any political party. Neither does it exist to please or even further the cause of any such entity. Any such impression can only be a figment of the imagi imagination. The GBA condemns in, no, condemns in no uncertain terms partisan attacks on the legal profession of the judiciary, and we shall receive with all attempts to foment disaffection against the judiciary and the legal profession. The debate will persist, but the significance of the judiciary in maintaining unity must not be overlooked.